Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. You know all my struggles. You know what? All right, John. So I gotta ask you, man. Just growing up in baseball, who were some of your favorite players? Well, I grew up in Lansing, Michigan, and so everybody that was on a Tiger uniform, Detroit Tigers were my favorite, and uh, probably Alan Trammell, number three. I wore number three okay. uh, in high school, so maybe Alan Trammell at shortstop. So I gotta ask you, man. You've been a pitcher, a legendary pitcher at that. If you put together a Mount Rushmore, you put four pitchers on your Mount Rushmore. Who are your uh, four? That's a great question. I mean. It's hard not, you know, I pitch with two of the greatest and Greg Maddox and Tom Glavin, so it's hard to leave them off. But if I had to leave off my teammates, then I'm thinking you got to, I mean, gosh, Sandy Koufax is, is one of those that is hard to leave off. Um, I think of Pedro Martinez when he is as nasty as they get. I think of Randy Johnson when he is as nasty as they get, and certainly, um, you could pick anybody from Tom Seaver to Roger Clemens to, but I'll, I'll, I'll go uh, Nolan Ryan. That is a nasty four. So, you know, you made a transition from being a starter to a closer or to a reliever. Just the idea that you're seeing some guys like John Gray be able to do this. How was that transition for you as a player? It was very difficult. It was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do um, on the job training. and didn't really have much time to kind of embrace it. And, you know, it's still pitching, but it's a totally different form of pitching. It's adrenaline through the roof. There's no um, rhyme or reason when you're going to get in, how you're going to get in. There's no structure. So you really have to have a bad memory. Uh, you have to go out there every each and every night and, and know that you're only going to get interviewed if you blow a game. <laughs> and so that's the uh, mental side that you have to deal with, too. All right, cool. Two more questions. So let's say we can fast forward. We put young Joe Smoltz in today's baseball. You see how all the players have the cool walk-up songs, the themes, the lights cut off. But let's say the song is called John Smokes. You can pick any artist that allowed to do your walk-up song. They would do it live at the ballpark. Who wow. would you want to do your walk-up song? That's another, you know, I'm not, I love, I love, I love music. I don't, I don't particularly adhere to anything in general, like in my playlist. Uh, golly, that's a great one. And who would I pick? In my era, there was all kinds of, and I love the Gap Band, I love wow. Journey, I loved, uh, I'm gonna go for, for whatever reason, I'm gonna go with Steve Perry and Journey. You gotta go with Journey. One of the greatest to ever do it. Okay, last question. So if you could think of the top three hitters that you face in your baseball lifetime, who will be the top three toughest guys that you had to face in baseball? Well, Tony Gwynn, number one, uh, never struck out, couldn't strike him out. He's one of the greatest premier hitters I've ever faced. Mm -hmm. Uh, Barry Bonds, obviously, from what the power that he was able to deliver. And I'm sure there's others that, that, that I'm going to bet Albert Pujols. And it'd be, a, it'd be Miguel Cabrera and Albert Pujols morphed in one. I didn't face him a ton, but I faced Albert Pujols in his prime, and he was no fun to try and get out. Wow. John, I appreciate the time. Thank you, sir. You it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah.